Okay, I'm back, and I just have to finish up uh, problem number 18. I just want to make sure I do this. 10 minus x squared, right, right. This will be x squared minus 20x plus 100 plus 225. I just want to make sure. This is where I always mess up. So then, let's see. What's 325 minus 289? See, it's 25 plus 11, right? So it's 36. So we, we are left with 0 is equal to x squared minus 20x plus 36. And now we just have to factor this right here. And let me, let me, I'll do it up here. So 0, I'll confuse you when I go all the way up here, but 0 is equal. So what two numbers, when you multiply them, is equal to 36? And when you add or subtract them, you get minus 20. Let's see, what do you get? Let's see, 12 and 12 and 3. No, 18, 18 and 2. 18 times 2 is 36. And if you make them both negative, when they add, they go to negative 20. So if we do, so that's x minus 18 and x minus 2, right? I just factored this as x minus 18 and x minus 2. And you can re review the, um, my, my presentation on factoring quadratics if you forgot how to do oh. this. But I just said, well, 18 times 2 is 36, and they have to be negative because when they add together, you get minus 20. So x could be equal to 18, or x could be equal to 2. And those are the possible choices. Um, and that's it. This was a short video, just the leftover for problem number 18.